Yes, now we have done with the facilities, shapes and workday pattern and defined schedules. Now we are going to create item organization and inventory organization. In inventory, master as a physical and member as a physical. So these three we are going to see now. So first of all, so here we are going to create now define item organization which is our master as virtual and it can be an optional one it is not a mandatory so either we can define or not so and the fifth one is define inventory inventory define Inventory organization. So, this we can define inventory organization as a master and also member. Member also. So, both we are going to define. Now we go for a practicals. So this uh, item organization you can search here or you can directly uh, go to facilities and then here manage item organization you can click on it. Just navigation. Now we are going to create new uh, item organization. See this is the new window. See both item organization and uh, uh, Inventory organization window looks like same, but but uh, yeah, when we are creating item organization, this uh, primary ledger and legal entity is not a mandatory. Okay, we no need to define primary ledger or legal entity because we are not securing any uh, material transactions here at the time of item organization. At the level of item organization. So here uh, I'm going to create uh, item name first of all BT Learn uh, BT Learn Engine and organization also is 001 like this I'm giving which means under my page, uh, best tech journal, this is the organization one I am going to create, which is related to IT. So, BTL item, right? So, IT, I am giving IT zero zero one. Like this, I am giving. So, manage business unit, uh, you can select our existing one, or you, if uh, I mean, it is not required to select. Let me search this is my business unit which I created. Automatically primary ledger and legal entity came here. So which is not a mandatory thing. You no need to maintain I mean manage this thing. Okay. So location address this and all not required for this. Now I am going to click on next. See here uh, item master organization is what? Here I am going to select this as a self this is a master. Whatever I am creating now, that itself it acts as a master. So that is the re reason I have selected BT Learn Engine itself. Okay, I am starting with that. So here if you want, you can uh, add additional information as well. We will see all about in the next uh, session. Going forward. Now I am going to click on save and close. So this is how you create an item organization. Now click on them. Next step is we have to create inventory organization master and number as well. So I am going to create now uh, inventory organization. You can search here or you can directly go to the uh, facility or facility manufacturing and supply chain materials and facilities or you can directly search inventory organization here. Okay, so click on manage inventory organization. So here I am going to create a new inventory organization. Now for that give me give name BT Learn uh, INV 
I'm giving organization one, right? So I am giving one. Like this, I'm going to be zero 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 six. Like this, I'm giving. Okay. So now the manage business unit is mandatory. You observe when we were creating item organization. This is a optional one, which is not required. But uh, just for your reference, I give it. business unit okay so and uses also if you see here here it is like a inventory management there it is item uh, management okay so here i you search for the is our uh, business unit which is called bt learn cars this is our business unit which we have created earlier and the legal entity is motors okay So automatically, profit center everything came. See the location also. By default, it came from the legal entity. Okay. So whenever we created a legal entity, family ledger, we allocated our address also, right? So automatically, it displays that address as well. So this is how you are going to create a um, what um, a master organization, or you can give here master. I'm just giving for your reference. I just given name like that so that you can understand. In the next, click on next. See here, ah, uh, how we uh, we know in the name itself we given master, but here we don't know how it is a master. Ah, uh, how to identify it is a master or a member? Okay, so that time see item master organization is what you have to select it here. So well, this is the first one which you are um going to. Create right. This tax as a parent right. So now you have to select self organization as a master. So which is let's just search it. See here, B T New York Master. Okay, I'm just selecting this one. And the schedule I'm going to select here. And the uh, our schedule which we created that I am going to select here. And uh, about this all details I will uh, explain you later in the videos. Now only basic details I given. Even lot serial item sourcing, what is additional information? This all we are going to see in the uh, future videos. I mean coming up videos. Okay. So as of now I given this uh, I created it as a master. So now save. And close again. Now we are going to create a new which one is a inventory organization as a member. How to create a member? So for that, BT learn. Ah, uh, for example, in our case, our example, if you see, ah, uh, New York City as a master begin, and ah, uh, now Chicago I will see master learn BT learn um, member. Chicago. Actually, we don't uh, define like this. Just for your understanding purpose, the naming convention I given like this. But you should not give in your real time like this. Okay. Just whatever the member is there that you directly the num name you have to give. Let's say you are creating an intervention for Chicago location. Just directly give Chicago like that. You have to follow. Okay. So here and the name is zero zero zero. Uh, sir, I given like this. Okay. And manage business unit. You have to give it, uh, which we created. That one I am going to give. BT learn cars. Okay, I am just selecting this. Now uh, legal entity. You have to select motors. Okay, see here in the next video. If you see item master organization, because now we are going to create a uh, member, right? Member for New York City. Right. So for that purpose, here I am going to select New York City, and for New York City, it is a member. Which one? Chicago is a member. I am entering organization. An item grouping behavior. Right now, I am just giving definition organization. We will see later about all this information schedule which we created earlier. That I am going to see. I mean, select here. Okay. Uh, as usual, we'll see later about all the advanced details. So now click save and close. This is how you are going. You have to create a manage inventory organization. So now click on done. Okay. 
So I hope you understood well about inventory organizations and item organization how to define and like master and uh, what a member how to create all you understood well right so i hope you understood well thank you